Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Buddy Talk. I encourage you all to go to our page and see all of our old videos. Each of these videos have inspiring ways to live our life. Today's topic is taming the tongue. You might ask the question, what is taming the tongue? Or a better question, what is taming? Taming is usually related to wild animals and controlling them into a specific environment. Take an example, a circus. We, we usually tame elephants to live in a specific way, to act in a specific way, to put them in a controlled environment and not for them to create a havoc or chaos. We see this example in James 3, 7 and 8. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. Similarly, if we don't tame our tongue, it can cause varied amount of damages. Have you seen someone just speaking one word and that one word has caused varied amount of damages to in a situation? So what does Bible say about taming the tongue? Proverbs 18.31 says, life and death is in the power of our tongue, which means we can speak life to a certain people or we can speak death or curse or completely damage or destroy certain people's life. So today we're going to learn three practical ways how to overcome this. I'm going to teach you three T's. The first T is think, the second T is train, the third T is transform. So let's go to the first T, think. Have you heard about the common phrase, think before you speak? Let's put that into perspective. Bible puts it this way, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry. That's your first T. Let's look at the second T, train. We need to train our tongue to speak in a certain way, in a controlled way. We don't have to speak everything that comes in our mind. The third T is transform. Bible says we need to renew our mind to transform ourselves. Renewing our mind is a key part of transforming ourselves. So how do we transform our mind or transform our tongue to speak in a certain way? The first and the important thing that we need to do is ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Guys, I hope you'll use these principles to apply this in your life and see the Holy Spirit make changes in your life. Please share this video with anyone who you think would be useful for. Until then, I'll see you.